Hi guys, welcome back to another video. So from this video, I'm starting a new series called Design System Masterclass. So if you're a product designer and want to learn how to build a design system from scratch, so this is the go-to series for you. So coming to the syllabus of this entire series, so we'll be using atomic design principles to, to build the design system. So in this video, I'll explain you what is atomic design uh, principles. So what are atoms, what are molecules, what are our organisms, what are templates, what are pages and all those stuff. And we'll, we'll be going to foundations and we'll be building atoms, molecules, templates and many more stuff. So don't worry about all these terms. I'll explain you very detailedly in, in every single video. Um, so coming to the prerequisites or go to app. So you should be having a basic knowledge of Figma and Figma variable. So it's okay if you're not, app, I'll, I'll cover that also in every single video. I'll cover the basic stuff. So yeah, coming to atomic design. So this was inspired by the subject chemistry. So what we'll do is we'll create a consistent design systems uh, using atoms, molecules, organisms. So atoms are basically a basic building block of the matter, right, in chemistry. So in design systems, so atoms are the basic building blocks of the user interface. So if you see a mobile phone or a computer, so it is a user interface. So it contains atoms. So for example, a button, a button is an atom. It is a basic building block of the UI. If you consider an input field, so if you are inputting your email on uh, your mobile phone, that is a basic building block of the UI. And uh, if you consider a link, if you're clicking a link on a website, or if you're consider if you're clicking a link on your WhatsApp, so that is the basic building block of that UI. And uh, coming to the molecules, molecules are something which are built, which are built with atoms, with two or more atoms. So if you consider a search bar, so if you consider a search bar, it contains a search in uh, input field and a search button. So combining those two is uh, is a molecule. So and coming to the next thing, which is organisms. Organisms are made up of two or more molecules. So for example, if you consider a navigation bar of a website, it contains a logo, which is an atom, and it contains links, which is a molecule. Uh, it contains a link and many links, and the links are grouped, right? So if, if it is grouped, it is a molecule. And if you see it, it as a button, it is an atom. So combine these three will become an organism. So that is uh, organisms, which is made up of molecules and considering templates. So when we come to templates, which is a made up of group of organisms, if you consider a dashboard, a SAS dashboard, which contains a side navigation bar, which is an organism. So if you consider a top heading, which is an organism, so top nav bar is an organism. And when you consider the content, uh, so dashboard as graphs, tables, and all those stuff. So that is organisms. So grouping all of them is called templates. So that is called template. And coming to pages, which which are made up of templates. So we rarely see pages here. So in in SAS world, we rarely see pages. So in the in, if if I consider a real world example for pages, if we consider e-commerce platform, it, if you consider the product page of an e-commerce platform, it contains a group of photos, which is a template. It contains about product, which is a template. It contains reviews and which is also called a template and it has a comparison tool. Uh, so we'll be having different tables. You can add the product, uh, the product you're viewing and you can add uh, the product you want to compare. That is a template. So pages are made up of templates. So you can consider a marketing page or a landing page that pages are made up of templates. So yeah, that's pretty much it. So I want to show you a real world example of uh, uh, the atomic design system, how the ad, how the uh, templates or pages can be built with the basic building blocks called with the basic building blocks uh, with atoms, molecules, and organisms. So coming to Chat GPT's uh, uh, home page, uh, I would say the Chat GPT's landing page. So when you see here, so when you see here, this logo is an atom, and this text is atom. So grouping them will become a molecule, and this button is an atom. This login button is an atom. And this text is an atom. This subtext is an atom. So grouping all of them is a molecule. And when you see here, this logo is atom. This logo is atom. And grouping all of them is a molecule. And this uh, edit button is atom. And grouping these three is a molecule. And when you consider these and these, so we are grouping these into become, becoming a sidebar, which is an organism, right? So, and when you consider this, this is a molecule. And when you consider this input, this is the input and this is the button, which becomes uh, a molecule. And this particular thing is a click clickable tag. So it, it made up of atoms uh, and 
it becomes a molecule when uh, we make it clickable. So we are actually adding the click action. We are actually adding the button here. So grouping these two will become a molecule. And uh, coming to template, this is an organism. And grouping this molecule and this molecule becomes these as an organism. And grouping this one and this one will become an organism. And grouping everything, everything in this page. So grouping this organism and this organism will become a template. So I hope you got what uh, the atomic design system is, the basic knowledge of what atoms are, what molecules are, what organisms are, what templates are. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you got some valuable, valuable stuff out of it. So consider subscribing to my channel. So see you in the next one. So we will be in next lecture. We'll start building the foundations of the design system, which is typography using variables. So see you in the next one.